I love running and I love data and the two go hand in hand. So I'm gonna show you how to download your Strava data, put it into Excel and then manipulate it in a way that you can start to make some charts on your own. And in particular, we'll make this particular chart for my uh, running since 2016. So the first thing you need to do is download your data. So in Strava, you go to settings, which is up in the upper right hand corner under your icon, click on that and then click on account and then download or delete your data. Now you don't want to actually delete your data. You just want to download it. So it's just step two and go ahead and request a download. Now that can take up to a couple hours depending on how much data you have or the amount of traffic they have. So once you request that, go make some nice tea, maybe go for a run and then come back. And uh, once you see it, you'll have a whole series of different files. The file you're gonna want is activities.csv. And uh, go ahead and open that into Excel. First off, just right out of the bat, save it as an Excel file. Because if you get far down the road and you hit save and you forget to change it into an Excel file, you're gonna to continue to save it as that CSV, which is comma separated values. Then another thing I like to do is to go ahead and select all the data and uh, then convert that into a table. And the main reason I like to do that is because some of the formulas we're gonna add later just automatically get applied all the way down when you have it in that table format. And we're also gonna put it into a pivot table. And so having it in that table makes it easier throughout the whole process and saves us a few steps down the road. Okay, now there's three data fields you're gonna to have to manipulate and change. And the first of those is the date. And that's because Strava puts all of the data information into one field. So the workaround that I've done on that is to go ahead and click on that column and then add two more columns. And then what you're going to do is convert that column to text. Because it's separated from the month and the day and the year, there's a comma in between it, and there's a comma between the year and the time, what I'm going to do is go ahead and separate those out into three columns at the columns. And so I'm gonna convert table or convert column to text and then walk through that series to separate it by commas, but I have to have blank columns to be able to push those into, otherwise it'll delete the existing data that you have there. And then once I have that, now I have a column of month and day, a column for the year, and then a column for the times. Now for the charts that I want to do, I want to go ahead and have the month and the date separated out as well. And so I'm going to create two more columns next between that date field and the year field. And then I'm just going to put in a very simple formula in Excel uh, and that is equals month and then it goes back to the date field. You want to make sure the cells for this are formatted in general and not in date format. Format the cell to say general, to be in general format, then equals month and then back to refer back to that date field. And then that'll just automatically populate the month number for all of those activities. Then in the second column, we're just going to put equals day and then refer back to that date column or that date field. And that'll populate in the day for all of those. So now I have taken the date and I've separated it out to the month, the day, and the year, and it's got the time, but I'm really not gonna do any charts with the time, but I've got it in there. Now the second bit of data that you've got to manipulate within Strava is the distance. And that's because it gives it to you in kilometers. Now, if you wanna do all your charts in kilometers, you don't need to make any changes here at all, um, but uh, I wanted to do it in miles, so I had to change that. I just created another column and then just copied the kilometers times that, that multiplier, and then that gave me the mileage all the way down. Same is true with elevation. Elevation is in meters instead of in feet, and so I looked up the number and then converted that all to feet. So now I've got the data the way I want it. It's in a table. I can create a pivot table from that and then start to make my charts. 
So once I have that, I'm just gonna click in anywhere in the table, and then I'm going to go ahead and insert a pivot table. To get my data in the configuration I want for the table I'm trying to create, I'm going to filter my activities for type, and I just wanna look at my runs. Um, if you could do this, if you've got a lot of different activities in Strava, you could do this for any of your activities or all of them combined. Then what I'm going to do is go ahead and have my months listed as rows and then years as columns across. And then my variable for that is going to be mileage. Pivot tables are a great way to play with data and do different elements. So once I'm at the stage where I've got the data the way I want it to look, I make a copy of that and paste it into a new tab just as pure values. That way I can change the pivot table later, do something different with it, and it's not gonna mess up my chart. I've got a good solid foundation, a snapshot, if you will, of that data at that point to be able to create my chart. And I'm gonna change all of my months from numbers to the actual three letter uh, labels. And then from there, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and select the data that I want to create the table. So all of the months and all of the years, went ahead and took that row labels out so that the uh, Excel knew what I wanted to have as the labels within my chart. And uh, I tried a bar chart at first and uh, didn't really like the way that looked. It just looked too cluttery and it didn't tell the story of year by year. So I switched it to a line graph and uh, that looked good because I had so many years in there it looked a little hairball-y so i wanted the current year to really pop out so i just played with the colors i changed the colors to a monochrome style and then popped out the most recent year 2020 as a different color i made the uh, bullets the markers for it a little bit bigger uh, so that those fonts really popped out and uh, got a chart that I felt fairly comfortable with that looked and, and captured that well. I hope you found this helpful. Um, it took me a long time to figure out how to do some of these conversions and where to find some of this information. So uh, I searched for a video like this and couldn't find one and that's where I thought, well, maybe this might be helpful for somebody else out there. I'd love to hear from you if this was helpful or not or what questions you have. And most of all, what tips you've used if you've done anything with your Strava data and how you've created information around that. Thanks.